Hi guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my 300th video celebration video and it is going to be about the pros and cons of washing monsters. These are all my personal opinions. So this is my way of celebrating my 300th video and firstly I'd just like to apologise if I sound slightly different it's because I've got a really bad sore throat and I'm kind of struggling to do this video but I really wanted to do this video and I was looking forward to making it so I thought I'm not going to let a sore throat just bother me. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing in this video and I hope you like it and please thumbs it up at the end. So firstly I wanted to start off with a pro of Motion Monsters and I thought it would be best to start off with a pro. And the very first pro is that you're able to make many friends on Motion Monsters and meet new monsters and chat with them. I think that's really good and it never makes you bored unless no one's online but I think making friends on Washing Monsters is great and it's a great way to socialise so yeah and I think that's a great pro and I'm glad Washing Monsters has thought of putting that in. So secondly I wanted to do a con, I'm going to be doing it in order so pro con pro con um, so my second thing is a con of Moshi Monsters, um, the con is that there are a lot of glitches like on pinballs and Moshi Monsters seem to make a lot of unnecessary changes to the site which aren't really needed and it causes a lot of glitches which is really annoying for everyone and especially for a daily rater like me it just gets on my nerves and I think they should stop making changes. So my next pro is that Currently Moshi Monsters are still doing double XP and only 3 hours of having to wait for seeds to grow which I think is great as it's a quicker way of waiting for your seeds to grow and it's a quicker way of catching Moshlins and in the background um, like this photo is of my Bobby Sing Song figure this photo was taken from my Instagram account so yeah as here's an example of a Moshlin so I thought I'd put him there and this Currently, this um, double XP has been ongoing since August, although they were supposed to stop it at the end of August, but for some reason they haven't. But I'm not complaining as I think it's a great idea and I think it's just amazing. So my next con is that the oops box on Washing Monsters is really annoying as it pops up every single time you try and send a message. And it only allows you to send certain words, which, which is kind of like annoying and awkward especially as sometimes when you're trying to explain yourself it can be nearly impossible um, so I think the oops box needs to sort out the words a little bit more um, especially like you're allowed to send slang words um, but you're not allowed to send proper sometimes you're not even allowed to send proper English words and I think that's kind of a bit annoying especially as it's teaching kids to speak slang it's not teaching them to speak proper English so I think they need to sort that out a little bit more and also it used to cause a lot of glitches to the pinballs um, it doesn't necessarily as much now but I still think they don't need to do it and I think it's quite annoying um, and yeah I've used this picture like twice and this is from my actual pinball from ages ago and for some reason I have this random picture on my iPod but I thought I'd use it again and I'm sorry it's blurry it's just I don't even know what happened but I cropped it and it's gone blurry and I can't bother to change it but I think it's alright and I didn't really want you to see in all my messages but there you are. So my next pro is that the new Moshi Monsters mystery gifts feature I think that's really cool as especially as members have unlimited amounts to send um, so yeah I think it's really good as I love getting surprise gifts and stuff like that as you can earn like rocks more seeds and food for your monster and I think that's good it helps you to save rocks for yourself as well and they're free to send and anyone can send them apart from if you're not a member you can send up to 10 but I still think it's great as everyone's able to access this amazing new feature and I think Washing Monsters has came to like a really good idea of doing this because I think it's just amazing that they managed to do that um, especially for something that we all like I think everyone really appreciates this feature um, although at first it did cause a few glitches but now they seem to have sorted that out it doesn't seem to be as annoying but I think they're great and I think it was a wonderful idea of Washing Monsters to put this put it in So my next con is that personally I think that some of the membership cards are quite expensive um, especially on the Motion Monsters website itself it doesn't make sense because they're more expensive on there rather than the actual membership cards but I think the one month membership card I think that's at an alright price but then the six month membership card is a little bit overpriced 
Um, but th this is just my personal opinion anyway. I, of course, everyone's got different opinions, but to me, I think it's quite expensive. That's why I'm not always a member like, all the time. Um, but otherwise, if they were a little bit cheaper, I think I would always be a Moshi Monsters member, as I think that Moshi Monsters membership is great, but a little bit expensive. So my very next pro is that there is a lot of Moshi Monsters merchandise to collect which is great for any Moshi Monsters fan, especially like me. Um, I think it's great and it sort of brings like, Moshi Monsters into the real world as they say. Um, so yeah, I think Moshi Monsters merchandise is absolutely amazing, I enjoy collecting it absolutely so much I can't even explain it. But yeah, I love Moshi Monsters so much and I think it's great that there's Moshi Monsters merchandise to collect as there's a variety of different things from magazines to books figures and collection tins and I think it's just epic. So however as I said on my previous pro that there is a lot of Moshi Monsters merchandise to collect which is great for any Moshi Monsters fan however I do think that as a con I do think that sometimes there are too much Moshi Monsters merchandise that are coming out at once so say for example ages ago I began collecting Series 1 mushroom figures and then it felt like to me literally two weeks later they came out with Series 2 and then it just kept going on like that and I wasn't able to collect any more Series 1 as Series 1 started to become pretty rare in my area where I'm from now as they hardly sell them anymore and I think that Moshi Monsters need to slow down a little bit on their merchandise I think they're in a bit of a rush to try and beat other companies and things like that and I think they shouldn't do that um, especially as it's like not everyone can afford to buy a packet of figures every single day or like two packets a day so I think they do need to like slow down their merchandise a little bit more so my last pro of this video is that I really enjoy reading the Daily Grail um, on Moshi Monsters and in the magazines especially as it is updated quite regularly um, they update it like every day and I'm always reading their daily growls. I find it really interesting and I love to find out new updates to the Moshi Monsters website and to Moshi Monsters. So yeah, I really enjoy that and I think the idea of the daily growl is great. So my very very final con is that on Moshi Monsters you're only able to level up to level 50 and this is a true fact so people who are saying that oh you can level up to level 100 it's not true you can level up to only um, level 50 but this is a con as as you can see here I'm only I'm on level 44 and I've only got six more levels left until it feels like I've finished the game so I think they should make the levels a little bit longer so maybe even if they did up to 60 but I think it would be a great idea if they did I really up to 100. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed editing and making this video I think it was a great idea um, so yeah this was to celebrate my 300th video on YouTube and it's been a wonderful experience so far and I'm only 10 subscribers away from 600 I mean that is just absolutely amazing because honestly I didn't think anyone would watch my videos but yeah so most of these pictures um, I actually took myself so yeah I took them like just a minute ago and then there's like a couple of them that are from my Instagram account and then I think there was like one or two from Google Images, so I promise you I do not at all own those pictures. All rights go to their rightful owner. Um, so yeah, um, and then I only decided to do 10 of them because there are so many to list and there are so many like, pros and cons of washing monsters, but I only did the 10 that I thought of and I think 10 is a reasonable amount. So thanks for watching, don't forget to comment, subscribe, thumbs up and please rate and add me on Moshi on Crazy Kazar and follow me on Instagram. Bye!